Show faces. Stop recording video. Button. Hi guys. Just let me do that. I'm on the carver. Cheers. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone at McGran on the Granada reunion page that came along last Friday. It was fantastic. Had a great time. It was lovely. And I want to say a special thank you to some people like Frank Byrne. Frank Byrne was the DJ for the night. And by the way, during the day, he's the funeral director. So if he was ironing you up and down, <laughs> he was seeing pound size in his eyes. <laughs> but he's fantastic. And last year, Frank went, had really bad cancer. Uh, and he, it was amazing that he was there that night. And last August, he did this massive big fundraising in the print works for the Christie Hospital. He's also doing another one this August. So look out for Frank Byrne and a massive thank you. You were great. And I want to say a big thank you to Denise, my opera singer friend, who also came along. She's a lovely lady and she sang the tribute song to all the friends that had passed away. Uh, she was amazing. But hey, I wish someone had got up and did the speech. I did ask. I had to fumble my way through it. And then I want to say thank you to the ladies on the door. Lovely Jane, who was giving me the name tags and Angie as well. Oh, and my son and his mates. My son was collecting the money. So thank you for all your help and thank you for the staff there. But I want to say, now on the night, obviously we didn't fill the venue. That was because you wouldn't believe it. Um, it was a month before, well, three weeks before I put all my, you know, my posters up on the Corrie set and I was just getting in the car and someone shouted at me and said, oh, honey, I don't know how to tell you this, but one of the really, really nice uh, long-term cast members is leaving. And she's having a party the same blooming night. I was gone, nearly crying. Well, I know. So considering we had that massive big, two massive big do's, it was a fantastic night. And everyone that can really enjoy it. We had different people come this time. You know, people we hadn't seen before, like Spencer Campbell. Spencer Campbell, yeah. He didn't have all his long curly hair anymore. I felt it. <laughs> oh, I just want to say something you all keep asking me. And this is something you all keep asking me. What can you see? What can you see? Well, in daylight, I can't see anything. If it's bright lights... I can't see anything. I certainly can't make out anyone's faces. Although I can remember like the shapes for later on to spend it. It's, it's very complicated. But uh, if they turn the lights off, I can make things out better. But outside in daylight, people say it's a lovely day. I can't see anything. I mean, I'm almost totally blind. I can just see cotton wool. But everyone keeps asking me. And, and it is hard at times when I go somewhere different. But I cope and it's great. Uh, so the people, there was a few people that couldn't make it and I'm so sorry because I know people phoned me up and Billy Gilmore wasn't well at all and he was gutted and Trevor Hyatt couldn't make it and thank you for the people who did phone me up and let me know but there were some people who didn't come who didn't bother phoning me up and it would have been nice if you could but I tell you what, you missed a bloody good night and like I said, it, it, the people that there were absolutely amazing and, and it was just a fantastic night so I want to say thank you to everyone and what I want to say is a big thank you because because the numbers were short I was short of money and they went round a lady went round with with a big bucket and collected money and collected this money oh shit that's not a clock it's a biscuit and I don't know what time it's so what it's not. and we got all this money left over I paid 1500 1, for the venue and I paid that in cash that night like get rid of the money and then I paid the DJ he didn't want paying but I did pay him because I, I had the money then a few kind helps and I paid the opera singer some money so that was fantastic and thank you thank you there's about 180 pound left and I'm going to put it in uh, a bank account I'm going to open up a bank account so whenever we're having another gathering I'll have some money because I've never got any money and I took my 30 pound out well it's 35 pound actually it owes me a fiver anyway it's going to be banked and I'm going to I'll let you have all the details. And um, Beth Hewitt, hi Beth, lovely Beth Hewitt, and Barbara Cummings, they're coming on board. They want to get involved. So I'll be bossing two people around. I'll have Barbara going, type Barbara, for she'll shout at me. I'll be bossing that Barbara Cummings about. And Beth Hewitt, she's lovely. Do you know she hasn't changed? It was so nice to see her. And Gordon Pleasant, I nearly died. Called Gordon Pleasant come all the way from Prague, and I nearly started crying when I seen him. There were just too many people. I can't mention them all. But but it was amazing. So yeah. So the next the next event is going to be in about eighteen months. Uh, I don't want to leave it too long, but I don't want to have one too quick. And as I've got two people on board, because to be honest, I was stressing out this time. I was panicking case because I had to sign my life away, and I thought, what if I, I've got no money? But I knew you'd all chip in. 
that's what Granada is all about. So the next one is going to be in about 18 months and we'll find a venue and I've got like, like I said, I've got Beth Hewitt and Barbara Cummings on board. But uh, I, I am going to do a small gathering and this is going to be Christmas. It's not going to be a big elaborate thing. I've got a venue in town that's free. It's no frills. And for anyone, I'm going to do it round about the Christmas markets and round about my birthday, which is the 14th of December, <laughs> just to let you know. Uh, and I'm going to have like a bit of a...